The Life and Sad Ending of David Hasselhoff David Hasselhoff was born David Michael Hasselhoff on July 17, 1952, in Baltimore, Maryland, U.S. The son of Dolores Therese, a homemaker, and Joseph Vincent Hasselhoff, a business executive. He spent his childhood in Jacksonville, Florida, and later lived in Atlanta, Georgia, where he attended Marist School. Hasselhoff made his theatrical debut at the age of seven in Peter Pan, and ever since his childhood dream was to have a career on Broadway. He graduated from Lyons Township High School in LaGrange, Illinois, in 1970. He was a member of the speech team, senior discussion leaders, president of the choir, captain of the volleyball team, and held roles in several plays. He studied at Oakland University before graduating with a degree in theater at the California Institute of the Arts. David Hasselhoff's life was never easy, he is a person who has difficulty in love, romance. Hasselhoff was married to actress Catherine Hickland from March 24, 1984, to March 1, 1989. Their wedding was recreated in the Knight Rider season 4 episode The Scent of Roses which first aired on January 3, 1986. Hasselhoff married actress Pamela Bach in December 1989. The couple has two daughters, Taylor Ann Hasselhoff, born May 5, 1990, who attended the University of Arizona and was cast for the 2015 season of Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, and actress Haley Hasselhoff, born August 26, 1992. In January 2006, Hasselhoff announced he was filing for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was finalized in August 2006. Bach was given custody of one daughter and Hasselhoff custody of the other until Hasselhoff later obtained custody of both. As of December 2010, he resided in Southern California with his daughters. In 2012, Hasselhoff began dating Haley Roberts, from the town of Glenith in Wales. He is a fan of the Welsh Rugby Union and they regularly attend matches in Wales. He and Haley were married at a ceremony in Italy on July 31, 2018. His career as known Hasselhoff portrayed Dr. Snapper Foster on The Young and the Restless from 1975 to 1982, leaving the series as the show wrote out many of their original characters. His feature film debut was in 1974 as Boner in Revenge of the Cheerleaders which he did to get accredited into the Screen Actors Guild. At the time, he believed that the film would not be released, but it was, two years later, also appearing under the title Caught With Their Pants Down. In 1979, he played Simon in Star Crash. He launched his singing career with guest appearances on the first season of the children's program Kids Incorporated, performing Do You Love Me? He guest starred on two episodes of Different Strokes and the soap opera Santa Barbara as himself in 1984. Hasselhoff was recruited by then-NBC president Brandon Tartikoff to star in the science fiction series Knight Rider from 1982 to 1986 as Michael Knight. He has described Knight Rider as more than a TV show. It's a phenomenon. It's bigger than Baywatch ever was. On the success of Knight Rider, it's because it was about saving lives, not taking lives, and it was how one man really can make a difference. His role in the show led him to a People's Choice Award for Most Popular Actor. Now, over 33 years later, the show is still playing throughout the world. In its second incarnation, Baywatch was much more successful. It ran for a total of 11 years and, from the 1990s until its series finale in 2001, was watched by almost 1 billion viewers across 140 countries, solidifying his status among the world's foremost television personalities of the said period. This success combined with his royalties and his other ventures has placed Hasselhoff's fortune at more than $100 million. In 1991, Hasselhoff reprised his role as Michael Knight in the television film Knight Rider 2000 as a sequel to the original series. The movie served as a pilot for a proposed new series, but despite high ratings, the plan was abandoned. 
In 1996, Hasselhoff was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 1997, he performed a duet with Filipino singer Regine Velasquez, which was used as the main theme for his 1998 movie Legacy. He made his Broadway debut in 2000 in the title role of Jekyll and Hyde. In August 2001, he hosted an event at the Conga Room, in Los Angeles honoring the Latin rock band Renegade for record sales in excess of 30 million units worldwide, taking the stage with the Latin rockers, and singing in Spanish. Hasselhoff has made several self-parodic appearances in movies. He had a major role in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, released November 19, 2004, starring as himself and meeting SpongeBob and Patrick. In 2006, Hasselhoff became a co-judge on NBC's America's Got Talent, a show that showcases America's best amateur entertainers. He also judged in the second, third, and fourth seasons alongside Sharon Osbourne and Piers Morgan. On the 2007 season finale, Hasselhoff sang This Is The Moment. He was replaced by comedian Howie Mandel for season five. In 2006, Fans of David Hasselhoff launched a tongue-in-cheek website Get Hasselhoff to number 1 in an attempt to get the 1989 hit Looking for Freedom to the top of the UK music charts through internet downloads of the single. The campaign attracted attention on British radio and television broadcasts, in the national press, and on the internet. Over 40,000 people signed up to receive the Hoff Alert email when the time had come to purchase the single. The focus of the campaign shifted to Jump In My Car when that was actually released as a single, and BBC Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills lent his support. On October 3, 2006, the Hoff Alert was sent out, and Hasselhoff promptly gained his highest ever UK chart entry on October 8, 2006. On May 3, 2007, a viral video surfaced online of Hasselhoff appearing to be severely drunk inside his home. His daughter, Taylor Ann, who filmed the video, can be heard interrogating him and asking him to stop abusing alcohol. She also warns her father he could be jeopardizing his spot on the Las Vegas production of the producers he starred in at the time. In the wake of the leaked clip, Hasselhoff issued a statement saying it was recorded by Taylor Ann so that he could see how he behaved while intoxicated and the footage was deliberately released. As a result of the video, Hasselhoff's visitation rights with his two daughters were suspended on May 7, 2007, for two weeks until the video's authenticity and distributor were determined. In May 2009, Hasselhoff's attorney, Mel Goldsman, described Hasselhoff as a recovering alcoholic. Hasselhoff produced Baywatch for first-run syndication. He has spoken at both the Oxford and Cambridge Student Unions. He was a celebrity cast member on the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars which increased in ratings by 36% from the previous year and served as a judge on NBC's America's Got Talent from 2006 to 2009. Hasselhoff was later honored on Comedy Central's The Comedy Central Roast of David Hasselhoff in addition to receiving the International Star of the Year Award for Outstanding Contribution to Global Entertainment by the Bollywood Awards. He was awarded the Comeback Star of the Year Award during the VH1 Big in 06 Awards. In February 2008, towards the end of the Knight Rider 2008, he reprised his career-making role as Michael Knight as he walked on to introduce himself to his on-screen son, Mike Tresor. On November 12, 2008, he became the first celebrity downloadable character for the PlayStation Network's video game Pain. In September 2009, he featured on a radio podcast for Compare the Meerkat, part of the advertising for the British website, CompareTheMarket.com. He was the subject of an early day motion in the House of Commons of the United Kingdom as a result of his support for the reopening of Morecambe Winter Gardens. In 2010, Hasselhoff Guest hosted professional wrestling's WWE Raw in London, England. On August 15, 2010, Comedy Central aired a special roast of Hasselhoff. 
In 2011, he revived his music career with a short tour across Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Citation needed, in the same year, Hasselhoff was featured in the trailer of the spin-off downloadable game, Burnout Crash. In May 2016, David Hasselhoff said he could not afford an alimony of $252,000 a year to his ex-wife Pamela Bach anymore, because he had less than $4,000 in cash to his name. He made $112,000 a month but spent $66,000 and due to alimony, taxes, and living expenses, he had little left. That's his story. What goes through with him as a challenge, we will be fine, everything will be strangely peaceful. Then it will not be sad anymore. We once again look back at our youth, blink an old one, review old memories and imagine if the afterlife is beautiful or not. Live a positive life for a life of optimism and love life.